in 2014, um, the city did a feasibility study and said, what, what do we need to do to fix the building? And, and from that, we identified a list of things, working with an architect, and said, okay, these are the items that we need to do. We had this really great opportunity to apply for Saving America's Treasures for the Hall of Waters. So this Saving America's Treasures gave us an opportunity to apply for $500,000. Capital Improvements matched it. And when we applied for the Save America's Treasures grant, we applied for it hoping that we were doing things like repairing the tower, repairing the, the east and, or the west and the north side doors. We were wanting to repair the water bar so it could be fully used again. So we had identified projects that, that the general public could see us working on and understand what we were doing for the building. So while we're in the midst of um, doing the architectural drawings for the work that would be contracted out is when we discovered that the foundation in the basement that supports the Hall of Springs where the water bar is was failing. So we were able to divert the money that we were going to spend on the exterior facade and the tower and spend it all in the basement on the foundation and we found a more failure under the water bar floor than we had originally knew existed. So all the money is going for structural um, life safety improvements. The, the structural repairs include um, strengthening columns that go from the basement of the building all the way through the water bar to the top of that to the to the Hall of Springs. So it's it's um, repairs to all of those structural members that are holding that whole floor that that whole wing up. Um, and those are we're repairing joists, we're repairing flooring, we're repairing ceilings, and we're repairing columns. And so there's not a part of the Hall of Springs that's not being touched in some way, shape or form. There's probably 16 to 20 million dollars worth of work to do on the building. Um, so you can do that work or you can spend that kind of money to tear the building down and have a massive hole in your downtown. And what we have heard time and again from individuals is you can't, you can't lose this building. This building belongs to the city, to the people. They want it to be maintained and they want to see it here and they want to be able to walk in it at any time. And in order to do that, we have to address the, re the repairs that are needed. Um, ultimately, the goal is that this is an economic driver in the community and that it has a tie to tourism, which is where it first started. And so we need, um, we need to be able to identify uses in the building and then go after partners that, will work in, that, that could work in the building op and operate the building. So that might be a spa, it might be retail, restaurants, it might be sort of a, a mall of some kind but just to provide opportunities for people to be in the building and enjoy the space. The building is very large. Uh, the majority of the individuals don't see the entire building, but there are three, op three levels that are easily operational as a site um, for business operation of some sort. And so the goal would be that you would see the city moving out as other businesses are coming in. We're, we're trying to address major systems of the building so we can actually support a tenant in the building without their business being at risk because the building failed in some way and they couldn't open their doors.